see you again now in, in Tokyo. <laughs> okay, let's start. Can you see? Can you see me? I, I think it's okay. So today I'm going to show you whiteboard painting with metallic screen. I, do, I show you so many colors so here you can see. Today I'm going to show you the red color. This red color is uh, uh, red maroon, uh, rose maroon. It's something like American Beauty or uh, rose, rose maroon, like that. Rose pink, dark rose pink is also good. Okay. This is a uh, blue green color and this is uh, brown color and this is, uh, I use a chrome green, very typical green. And this is blue and this is gray. It looks very nice, I, I like it. And also I use this one, it's a black color. It, it is also very cool, I think. Okay. I start with this lead plate. First of all, I use this one and make the point. and mask with the tape inside of the line like this. I bought this, this tape from Felipe. It is very nice, very flexible. And next, I make a paint. This is my dark rose pink. It's very similar to the rose maroon or make a beauty. Mix with it. My painting oil. My painting oil is a mixture of mineral oil and uh, balsam of copaiba, one part and one part. Very simple. I think any other painting oil is okay but uh, it, it should be open type.
this paint should be a little bit soft like this. This is mineral. I put mineral into my brush. Like this, and I next I use a sponge. This type of sponge. Don't pad it strongly, very soft, softly, tenderly. If we put uh, strong power, it takes a color. So very soft, soft touch is nice. And don't forget about the on the limb. Okay, like this. Next. I use a wipe out tool, big one, and uh, this point, because uh, this one makes a strong line, so I like this side.
this this mark is the center of the flower. And this is a petal. This is a kind of wild rose. and leaves. And small flowers. and middle flowers. Like this, and start from the small flowers. I use uh, synthetic brushes like this. This is we call cat tongue. The point of the uh, point of, of the top of the brush is like a cat tongue. So we call it cat tongue brush. And also this angle brush, we call it the angle brush. Can you see this is angle brush? And also this, this one is land brush of Pora Collins. I bought it Pora. And this is also synthetic craft brush. It is very good to wipe out because uh, the size of the, uh, this one is a little bit long. This type of brush is very nice to wipe out. Okay, start with the petal of the small grow. I sometimes use this one.
Okay, next. I use this angular brush, angular brush to wipe out the leaves. And then don't wipe, wipe out all over. This center, we leave this center like this, it's good because this is shadow point. After that, I put the vein like that. from the outside to, to the center. This is vain. And the top of the leaves, I make a cut a little bit. It is uh, light point like this and next the flower oh I have another lid here Here another leaves. Sometimes I clean the brush in the mineral.
I start from the both side here and here, and after that, move the brush to the center. And when we move with the brush to the center, don't take off all the paint. It is important to leave this dark place. It will be a shadow. Like this. And next, I use this wipeout tool. This is very small. And make uh, the center, center line, colon, like this. This line will be so very wide, wide and randomly from the center to the outside. This and next make a center to use a big one, this shape, and make a half half of the ball crescent, like crescent. Like this. Next, 
take off the this is the pollen. very randomly and the shape is also very random. It's much interesting. I notice here I need a bay here. Like this and also the scent of the small flowers. Like this. And it I noticed some of the place we need more highlight. Then especially this point, the small flower and the big flower is contacting. Here we should make a highlight. this here also and the, if you feel more flowers you need then you can put another flower like this Okay, now I take the tape. and cream inside. I put some more alcohol here and cream completely. This is a painting row to the first firing. I fire this plates con 016, 780 degree. Okay. 
And after firing, this is the after firing. Can you see? First, the sand. We do this. And clean the plate again. And make uh, some of the line. Mm -hmm. From here, a little bit, one centimeter inside. One centimeter inside from the, from here to here. Okay, I, I can make a line inside. And again, I put some tape to masking. This time I, I also can use this type of the tape, but I sometimes use uh, this type of tape. This is not flexible, but it's very thin. So I sometimes prefer to use it, this one inside. So this time I use it, but also you can use this one is also. So this tape, sometimes the lift up of the outside of the tape, lift up sometimes. So this, this uh, tape is made from the paper. So usually does not lift up. Push outside strongly. Okay, next. White metallic color I use. Metallic white. I think you can get it also in United States. I 
I use the same same oil I used at the first painting. This is my painting oil, mineral oil and balsam of copaiba, one part, one part. Sometimes I put a little bit of mineral oil to make it uh, soft. This is mineral oil. So metallic color should be should be mixed very strongly because sometimes metallic color is a little bit rough than, than another paint. So it should be mixed very strongly. Like this, very soft. Then this is a flat brush made from kill kill hair. and make a metallic screen like this all over. After the firing of the metallic paint, it's going to be a little bit transparent than before. So it is okay to put like white color. Almost we cannot see the paint under the, this metallic color, it's okay.
if the paint is not enough soft, um, this texture is not, not good. So paint should be a soft. Like this. And now I use a sponge. Like this, can you see? And take the tape. And don't forget clean inside. Sometimes people forget about the uh, cream the inside because this paint looks white, so they don't notice the stain. Okay, now the second filing is the same temperature, cone 16, 0, 016. It is 780 degree. Okay. And after filing, it looks like that. So this is. Uh, white by painting with metallic screen. I call it metallic screen displays. After the firing, the metallic color will be uh, going to be uh, transparent and also it looks uh, very silver, so, so brilliant. So very ni nice texture, I think. So I like it. And sometimes after the firing, I put some dots on outside. Like this, this is a white dot. I, some of the, my students knows how to make this dot, but you can use any kind of white enamel here. Usually my white enamel is transparent enamel and pure white, one part and one part mixed with uh, 
painting oil and a little bit of balsam of copaiba. And again, I'm going, going to show you another color. This is black colors. It looks very silver, silver outside, very cool. I like it also. And this is gray color. Gray color, color is also very nice combination with the metallic colors. This is blue color. This one is also very, looks silver, bluish silver. It looks very nice. This is greenish silver, it looks like. The original paint is uh, chrome green. This one is also chocolate brown I used. Very browny silver. It also nice, I like. This is blue green. Mm. I, I painted the uh, daisy outside. Not wild rose. Daisy is also pretty. And this is gray again. I put some of the dots so between the metal color and the paint, like this. And this is uh, my idea to put this technique on mud. This is also very interesting, I think. Okay, this is my technique, why by painting with metallic screen. Do you have any question about it? The work that you did at SCO is just absolutely beautiful. And if um, the audience, if one at a time, you would unmute yourself and ask a question, but be sure and mute yourself back while you're listening for the answer so that it will stay the speaker view screen. So does anyone, one, one question that came up before was to give a rundown on what kind of brushes you used to kind of give, you, give us all a review of the different brushes that you used in this process. Okay. Uh, this is a brush, I, maybe I, I bought in United States. Uh, Filbert brush. And uh, this is, uh, we call it cat tongue. The point looks like a cat tongue, filbert brush. And this is angle brush. We call it angle brush because uh, this shape is uh, triangle, looks like triangle. So we call it angle brush. I used this brush for leaves. And uh, this is uh, just a land brush. I bought it uh, for, for a coins. And this one uh, I sometimes use to make a highlight of the side of the uh, petals. And this one is, um, this, this brush is made in Japan, I know. But I think this one is also, you can get it in United States. And this is a flat brush, but a little bit longer than regular size. Is it rounded on the top edges like a cat's tongue? Is it rounded? Uh, no, no, this is a kind of flat brush, but a little bit uh, round the both sides. A little bit land, but uh, not cat tongue. Mm. Can you see the difference? This is cat tongue, and this is uh, my uh, flat brush, I think. This one, like this. But maybe you, you cut the some of the side of the. Mm, Flat brush, you can make it by yourself, I think, this type. Okay, those are all of the brushes I use. Are they synthetic brushes? Mm -hmm. Are they synthetic brushes? 
that crossy? No, synthetic. Yes. Ah, synthetic. Yes. yes, yes, synthetic. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Mark Did you? <laughs> Uh, hi, Atsuko. This was a great, great demo. Uh, did you mix your metallic white with the same medium? Because I missed it. The same uh, copaiba and yes, mineral oil. Yes, mixed. same medium I used that first time. This is made from balsam copaiba and mineral oil, one part and one part. So balsamic copaiba comes in different forms. Is this the runny light color copaiba? Yeah, okay. uh, 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 yeah, copaiba. Yeah, and do you clean your brushes when you're done with the mineral oil? Yes, mineral oil, just the mineral oil. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I have another question. Can you use another metallic colors instead of the white? Yes, I tried so many uh, another colors, but uh, uh, finally I found this white color is the best for everything. Uh, white, white metal color is uh, best to, to transparent and uh, looks like the silvery. So, so finally I use only white metal colors on this technique. But you can use it. So try, try by yourself. Then maybe you find another result. But for me, I prefer white metal colors. This is the best, I think. Where did you get your uh, paper tape that you used? Oh, this is very common use at the craft shop. Uh, and uh, this is for the use of the uh, paint, paint, paint craft. This is for painting. Uh, this is a home center. We call uh, we get very very common. It's very common. Masking so you tape. get it. Masking yes, tape. masking tape. Just a masking tape. Very thin masking tape. Yes. It's very common for the mm, common use. Sometimes it looks yellow. Okay, well, that was just fabulous. I am so excited to go out in the studio and paint. You've inspired me with this great presentation, Etsco. And I know everyone that watched today is also ready to get their brushes out and start on something wonderful with this new technique. Um, the, uh, Recording of this will be live on the YouTube iPad channel. It's under the iPad Museum. And the, the title of it will be the same title as when you signed on. So when you go and you want to Google it in the, in the bar to find it, if you go to the YouTube channel, it's going to be on under Etsco Anajima presents easy raised glitter with gold or platinum. So or palladium, excuse me, with gold or palladium. So when you go to the iPad Museum trying to find it, you just put that in the search bar under the YouTube channels. Again, thank you so much. You offered so many great techniques and, and your presentation was marvelous. So thank you again for your time. And uh, we enjoyed seeing the peonies in your garden for those who logged on early and also a view of Tokyo from your window. That was just an extra special treat. Thank you again for the presentation and thank you for all who came and participated in this uh, today. Thank you, Suzanne. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you.